Okay, let's uh, get in a quick word from India today's Rohini Swami who joins us for more. Rohini, if you could just tell us first of all, what's the latest update and which are the areas which are worst affected and, uh, you know, the problems that the people out there are facing? Well, the area that I'm here right now is Sirwan Mayur area and I can show you this is a residential area and the water logging continues like this for the last two days here. It's quite bad and I'll tell you why the water logging continues here. It's also because largely the, the water from this should actually drain to a canal and the canal is already flowing because the canal connects to the Adaya River. The Adaya River is overflowing and there's actually river flow water coming from the rivers and the sewage uh, plants from here. They're coming back into the residential areas and residents are finding it extremely difficult. No power, like you just seeing my colleague Shisha Reddy and Pratibha saying, no power, no food, milk, all these things are not being distributed. If I can question, ask you, talk to, let, let me put you, this is Tilwan Mayur area, this is close to our uh, Also, let me tell you, sir, you've been staying here for 40 years, you're saying, and you've never seen something like this. No, I, I, no. I know this Chennai has faced this rain, this is the first time in 100 years. But the question is, what are you going to do in terms of water logging here? What do you do? No, at present, for the last two days, the water is there. Actually, down the lane, it is more than uh, knee deep and it is going up. Uh, even up to the first floor, some places it has gone. And next uh, road, there is a slum area which is completely full. And you were uh, also saying that boats are flying just. Uh, just boats are flying about half a kilometer down the lane because there is no, no way because it is uh, running uh, up to the neck level. Yes. Sir. See, basically, this is also a residential and area. Give and it is called Marjitra Nagar. So, the whole, this whole area, if I can show you, this, the, the, see, the fact is some of them are trying to come out and try to get essential commodities. No, and no, as, and, and they're trying to at least uh, go, at least, and because there's no power, they have to go to a hotel and buy food. This is the kind of situation one sees here in Chennai. And let me tell you, even restaurants are trying very hard. They're working on generators, they're working overtime. And there are huge lines in small restaurants. The question is, if people are earning daily wages, how would they, even without power or even basic essential commodities, even survive? That is the kind of situation that Chennai is. Uh, they're, they're slowly limping towards uh, some kind of normalcy because the only respite is that there's hardly been any rain the last 48 hours. Absolutely, that indeed is a huge respite, isn't it, Rohini? But uh, do you see water receding in uh, you know some parts of the city or the adjoining areas? What are you hearing from the Med Department? What's the latest update? Because yesterday, L.S. Rathod, the DG of IMD, said that the next three days are going to be extremely crucial. If I can just try to step down, if you can help me, sir, I'll show you how deep the water is. It is this deep. And we're talking about right now, we're close to the to, to our knees. And this point, is just a starting point. point. This is way beyond there. It almost goes close to, that's, that's quite, it's almost knee deep. And the question is, as we go ahead another kilometer down, it's almost like there's a chest deep water. And that is why boats are applying. So this is the kind of situation and this is the kind of thing. People are hardly coming out of their houses. If they do, they're walking out. And they can hardly walk a few kilometers. But the people here in Chennai are just hoping and praying that the rains don't come and lash like it was last week and they're only hoping and praying that Chennai comes back to normalcy at least essential services so that they can survive even because really IT really even in the IT house we've been seeing they've been completely shut down the airport has been shut down the local net train network is not working only the metro that is working because there's no power the uh, power in the houses even ATMs are working people aren't being able to withdraw money banks are only withdrawing people are withdrawing money from banks in terms of taking cash but the point is they can't even step out of their houses so how do they how do they go about basically, it's all basically survival instinct. You have to survive in some way. And Chennai has never seen this. Quite a shocker for people in Chennai. But well, this is a state, but they're trying to cope with it. They've seen it once before, a couple of weeks ago. They've seen it again, but they're only hoping they don't have to see it ever again. Or rather, DMK chief has given out a statement and the statement reads, I quote, It has rained heavily in the past 24 hours and more rainfall has been predicted. Hello and welcome to another episode of Gadgets and Gizmos. My name is Gaurav Preeti and they call me... Looks matter, they say, and then you realize that was the first sign of trouble. I fell for those looks. Anyway, one plus...